Hello, this is Leo uh, from Li Time. Today I'm going to make uh, essential oil uh, by using the lavender uh, flower. Um, I'm gonna use uh, my new uh, system, it's a uh, 500 milliliter. Um, when I say 500 milliliter, uh, that means the volume of the steamer. So that's where the flour we put in. Uh, we have another version that is a 300 milliliter. It's uh, uh, a little bit smaller and uh, easier to use. Um, and in the setup, I have uh, the kettle uh, and also the condenser. Uh, they all made by stainless steel. Um, we love stainless steel because they are shiny and also very safe uh, for human. Uh, so first, I gotta add water in it. Um, I use my filtered water, uh, so I have a better uh, quality of the uh, steam. So add water in it. I'm going to put on the, uh, the stove. The next step, uh, put a flour in the steamer. using the dry uh, lavender flower. This is how much I added. So before I do that, um, normally I put a um, this grip um, on the table so this can sit on this. So here is just pushing. And then connect steamer with condenser. So now the system is ready uh, to go. Um, before I um, start it, I want to show you another device I'm going to use. Um, so this is a, a, called a water and oil separator. And you can see when the, when the distillate flow inside and then the oil will flow, will stay here, and the uh, uh, hydrosol will come up through here. And eventually, when they're finished, uh, you could get the essential oil uh, from the bottom. Um, so now uh, I can start my uh, distillation. When you start uh, boiling, um, I'm gonna add the ice cube. Ice cube can help uh, uh, the condensation. Also, uh, add some water. So the steam come up. So how it works is uh, the steam generated here uh, and it come up from the pipe and it go into the steamer the steam pass uh, through the flowers and that heat in the steam will extract the essential components in the flower and carry it out into this condenser then it will cool down and you can see already uh, we uh, focus here so you can see more clearly
you see the oil on the top. As I said, the GC is called a oil and water separator. Um, the theory is oil is lighter, so it always float on the top in this water column. And this tube uh, help uh, drain the, the water. That is, a, in this case, that is a hydrosol. Um, hydrosol actually is a pretty good. Uh, it's a, have the same, almost the same uh, component as the essential oil. Um, but most of them are, um, it called a hydrophilic. That means it can dissolve in water. Um, it has a mild, uh, a mild concentration, so it's much safer compared with a uh, essential oil. When you use essential oil, um, you gotta need a uh, diluted. Um, but with a hydrosol, it's uh, much easier uh, to use. You can even just use as it is uh, on your skin, and also it's safe to. Uh, to kids, uh, to pets. Trying to focus on the, on the oil. I'm going to stop the steam distillation here. Um, I want to show you the oils. So I'm going to turn off the heat. the oil is pretty clear um, has a little bit um, kind of a very light yellowish color see the oil it's a very little bit light uh, yellow color but very clear it's very clear I use a pH stripe uh, to test the pH uh, of the hydrosol Just pour a little bit out and, uh, this is a pH stripe I'm using um, take one piece um, so the pH stripe is uh, you use this to compare with uh, the standard and you can see so dip in there. Let them soak in a, a hydrosol. Um, so now you take it out. You can see the color uh, right away. So, so you see the pH is at a five, about five and a six. Um, so the fresh uh, hydrosol is supposed to have um, uh, acidic. So that means you have a good hydrosol. So, um, so today I show you uh, by using a uh, 500 milliliter D-time uh, distiller uh, and make uh, the lavender uh, essential oil and uh, hydrosol. Uh, within 20 minutes, I got a uh, two or three milliliter of the essential oil. Um, of course, uh, with a 500 milliliter, uh, you can do up to one hour distillation uh, so with time you just add a more ice cube in this condenser so you can uh, have a whole benefit thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions uh, just leave a uh, comments here or send me email to uh, leo at uh, leadtime.co uh, thank you for watching bye bye